everything, everything, everything which you perceive, which you feel, which you see, which you desire, which you want, which you have, which you do not have, is all up for remaking, for refashioning in the deepest recesses of your mind. It is about learning to be master manipulators of precipitation into matter. What is it your, you desire? What is it that you would have come to pass in your life? You are the creators. You are the one responsible. The earth now goes towards the collective and you are part of the collective. It is in your own hands that you can change that. Yes, you, you with the faith of a mustard seed, because that faith can spread like wildfires to those who are around you and see that you embody the Christed light and the Christed heart. When you stay in your center, that is the point of power. When you stay in love, when you stay in the flow, that is the place where miracles happen. You can do it. You can be it. You must know it from a place of utmost knowing and utmost enduring and utmost gritting of the teeth. For there is dross. There, is old, there are old patterns to be released. And yet as the, uh, these are released, the light shines forth ever more brightly. This is our message to you, Have you questions? this evening. I was going into um, uh, uh, listening almost with you. That was so unbelievable. And uh, my question is, uh, uh, be I be able ever to listen myself and be able to channel uh, like you do? an intense desire when this desire is for the highest good and you have consulted your own higher self put forth the desire put forth the intention and this shall come about in a form and a way and a venue which is most appropriate to you it will not necessarily take exactly the same form as you see and experience in the here and the now for everyone is unique and brings forth information which is pertinent to their own situation. But you will receive and give your gift in your own way, for each has its own expression, each has its own way, and therefore competition is a silly thing, because each of you are divine and unique creations on the face of the planet, and each of you has a divine and unique way to give your gifts. So persevere in this and know that it will be answered in the way which is most appropriate to you. I have a question. I know that uh, many of the people that are watching this may not be aware of this thing called a dimensional shift. Could you explain to a, a new person what this period is that we're going through, this 75,000 year cycle, and why is time changing the way it normally works in this particular period? This has to do with celestial and organic cycles of the Earth and the solar system. This has to do with an acceleration and a critical mass in terms of energy fluctuations and breakthrough points, critical mass points. There is an intensification. There is an intensification on the Earth. There is an intensification within the solar system. There is an intensification with what some identify as the, so the photon band. What this is doing is accelerating energetically all that is around from the earth to the earth core to the crystalline blood structures in all of the mammals including the human being to a restructuring of the DNA 
to the latent strands of DNA being brought back online and memories of abilities that have been latent and dormant for thousands of years coming back online and a re-remembering of what life was like on Gaia hundreds of thousands of years ago when all remembered the law of one and all that is it would it would would become conscious again and is becoming conscious again this is what we are going through this is the true meaning of the turning of the ages of the Mayan calendar shifting it is not so much that 2012 is a definitive point it is more that this is a midpoint of a cycle that you are already in the midst of some people can feel this already and this will shall continue until 2017 2019 it is a chance for a decision to be made by each and every human being living on the earth whether they will remain in a cycle of perpetuation of fear or whether they will move forward in perpetuation of a cycle of compassion and love. It is a simple decision. Shall one go the road of fear or shall one go the road of love? If one goes the road of love, one shall continue with the evolutionary process of Gaia. If one goes the road of fear, one shall also continue with the evolutionary process but of a different planetary sphere. This is the information which we can impart to you at this time. Could you share a bit who the Elohim are and how we look to you? We are a galactic grouping of energies. We exist outside of time and space. We project ourselves into your time-space continuum in any manner which we feel does not violate your free will. We are masters of celestial architecture, of music, of sacred geometry. It is very hard for us to make our presence known in your world as your world is very dense and we are very undense. We come in the form of inspiration to your greatest poets, to your musicians, to your artists, to your architects, to your mathematicians. We have an exalted angelic countenance in your worldly kinds of terms. We are what you would call inspiration. We are what you would call angelic. We are what you would call crystalline in many ways. We have existed for millions upon millions of years. We are trying to insert love light into your density of third dimension and to bring forth love light out of that dimension. It is a grand experiment for us and one at which we don't feel that we are doing as well as we had hoped. Thank you for watching today. Thank you for Vin and Daphne to come to my show for Daphne for this wonderful channeling. Uh, we have to finish the channeling because of the limited time of each session. Promise you uh, next week to continue the channeling which we recorded through entirely until it was really com accomplished and uh, um, we're gonna get back to you. Thank you for watching today. Welcome to the Vortex.